local uh, homebrew supplier and he had these kits made up pre-made up alright it's a partial it's a partial extract uh, so and as you can see here's the ingredients and instructions and hop additions and all that jazz yeah as you can see what that says there we're making a wheat beer and my man at the homebrew shop he puts this all together freshly cracked grains and he, you know seals them up like this we got three hop additions Amarillo and Halito and three pounds of dry malt wheat and Hugo's maintaining things over here we got the brew pot going and yep our water's coming up and we're going to mash this in I'm going to put the green bag in once it gets up to temperature and uh, we're going to mash that in at one uh, bring the temperature up to 160 mash it in and make sure there's no dough balls and all that and then uh, let it sit for uh, an hour at 150 try to maintain that temperature as best as possible yeah and I'll bring you back periodically I'm not going to show everything in detail like I did the uh, the latest video because I got you know we're snowed in here and I'm gonna have the kids running around and it's really hard to make videos when I got you know two kids and then a you know newborn so um, uh, we'll see what we can do that's all we can do so as you can see we got this big old pound of green I got open up it's all nicely vacuum sealed up and uh, yeah please excuse the mess I mean as I said I got a newborn so I got all my counter space is limited now with, with the bottles and we're gonna make this wheat beer it's supposed to be coming out at 5% ABV uh, according to the instructions so we'll see we'll see how it comes out we'll take original gravity and all that jazz be right back all right we're back and I just poured all the grains in so giving it a stir making sure there's no dough balls and we're mashing it in check the temperature in a second make sure it's still at 150 you know it's going to drop down if we were at 160 when I added the grains so the temperature is going to go down and we want to maintain this at 150 a lot of grains in this uh, brew um, about four pounds of pale malt two row pound of wheat flaked wheat and eight ounces of Munich we're in this green bill so just give it a good nice mix and we're gonna let this sit for about an hour and I'll bring you back when we start uh, do a hop drop. I get this up to boil, add the dry mold extract, and yeah, start adding the hops. Yeah, coming up to the boil. Coming up, coming up, coming up to the boil. Got my little hop bag going here. See, I'm gonna not be able to do this with two hands and the camera, so. I'm going to hold this open like this and throw my hops in here. That's why they're not so much uh, hop debris. So I'll try to bring you back and show you that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but we'll see. Okay. We got German Halito. One ounce. We're starting to boil here. And put her open. Give it a sniff. Let the first mate sniff it. Yeah. Alright, here we go. One ounce. Yep. All in. Take the spoon. Give it a little mixy mix in my little bag here. So it gets acclimated in the uh, wart. And it's very hot. Woo. That steam coming up is very, very hot. So you want to watch out. Alright. And that's the first hot drop. And the next one from my... We'll do an ounce of Amarillo at 10. So we'll bring you back at that. Okay, we're back. We've got an ounce of Amarillo for the last 10 minutes of the boil. Boom. Done. All right, let me see if I can give it a little mix. Make sure it gets down in there. 
So we're going to do an ounce of Amarillo for 10 minutes, flame out, and then we'll throw the last hop drop in. It's another ounce of Amarillo at flame out. And we'll bring you back for that. All right, last hop, uh, hop, hop addition. The uh, timer just beeped. Ooh, this is hot. Boom. Done. All our hops are in. Shut the flame off. And that's it. Flame out first before you put the hops in, but whatever. No big deal. And now the big issue is to uh, cool this puppy down. And because it's snowing outside, I'm just going to stick it to the Stick it on the porch or something in the snow instead of giving it an ice bath. Let it cool down naturally. Get this down to about 90 degrees, maybe a little bit less if I can. And stick it in the fermenter and put the yeast in. So let this cool down and we'll bring you back. Okay, brew day done. And I'm putting this thing right in the snow. It's probably about 22 degrees with the wind chill. They're saying it's like 5 with, with the wind chill. You can see that uh, it's pretty bad out. The roads are bad. My vehicles are all covered. I'm about to come out here and uh, while, this, while this cools down, I'm going to uh, start shoveling some of this stuff. And uh, we'll bring you back when I throw this in the fermenter. Alright, end of the brew day. She's cooled off. I'm going to aerate this wart for a little bit. I got my handy dandy uh, drill. So I'm going to give that a spin inside here, mix it all up real good. Uh, we're almost at pitching rate, so I'm going to aerate the wart real good. That's the color of it. Right there, a nice golden light color. And the points came out about... Uh, we're not going to be able to see that. 10... 51-ish, 1052-ish. The, the paper says it's supposed to be at 1055, so some conversions uh, didn't happen, or could be just the my freaking thing here. Half the time, I don't know. But uh, a couple points off. But hey, that's it's brewing. We still have about four, four point three, four point, you know, five, four point three, four point two, something like that, with the math. Uh, ABV. That's good. I might throw. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll throw a cup of sugar in here. Just to bring up the ABV a little bit. Won't bring it up too much, but I don't care. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. This nice snowy day outside. It's still coming down. Yeah, so... As uh, me and Hugo said... Have a great one. Keep your mugs full. And... Don't forget, let's set sail.